Hey again, this is still me. Um, tonight, ta-da, I want to talk about another subject. And it's called gourmand. It's a concept. I think the equivalent would be gluttonous, but I don't like it so much. I like gourmand, so from now on it's a French word and you've learned a new word called gourmand, gluttonous. So, in life I see that we tend to be gourmand. We're having something way enough it's plenty remember the abundance it's plenty of it yet we're gourmand we want more you see this with businesses anybody's trying to starting making money and it works it's fine it's great it's happening but they want more always more boom for instance i was just told told by someone that starbucks is going to start selling wine and you know snacks like little kind of aperitif tapas style I'm like why would they do that they're a coffee place. They make coffee. Stop, stop trying to expand so much. And people want to do it all, but they want to increase their business. Focus on making one stuff and, and good stuff. So so don't be too gourmand. But gourmand could be in life with everything, with the sweetness we do. You know, you have M&Ms in front of you. Uh, one, two. Three. No, you, you, buy ten, you eat ten. Same thing with alcohol. Same thing with anything you have in life. Don't be gourmand. Don't be just... just be there. It's great to spoil yourself once in a while to just go ah, over the board, but but hey, chill, chill. You don't have to put too much in your mouth and in your heart and in your pockets, you know. Chill. If everybody did that, because when you two go more, you know, you don't leave enough cake for everybody else. So leave. Leave some for others. Don't take everybody's job. Like I just want a little shop who sells wine, another one who makes a little food, another one who sells coffee, you know. Let's not take everything together. We all want a little place. All right, don't be woman, please.